You know what they say, boys. A good jacket goes a long way. Pick this guy up. Thrift store. $15. U.S. Army surplus. No actual name on it. Just a pure army jacket to match with the camo box logo. America on top. We are feeling on top. And in this video, we are gonna be looking at every single jacket that Supreme is releasing for spring summer 2024. You guys won't wanna miss this video. I'm gonna be ranking probably the top like three or four items from the list, what I think the best resale items are and more. So be sure to again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into the video guys. All right, here is a quick overview of all the jackets and we're literally doing it super quick. I haven't even looked at all of these up close and personal because I love the genuine reaction that I get when I go through it with you guys and we are gonna do that starting now. Lambskin leather jacket with gemstone stud pattern. Not gonna read the entire description, maybe a few of them I will, but here we go. We saw this in the lookbook. Love these gemstones. What do you guys think is the better color? Is it the brown? Or is it the black? I think black is a little more classic, but brown has certainly been having a year. We all know that. Okay, boom, Supreme shot hooded leather bomber jacket. I think this is one of the top jackets already. I know it's the second jacket, but I think it looks so damn timeless and super clean. What all do we have here? Full zip closure, double welt hand pockets, removable leather hood. So you don't need to have the hood. You can unzip it just like this guy has a zippable, unzippable hood. You can do that too on this piece right here. It'll be really expensive, but I think this will be a worthwhile piece to cop and it comes in white as well. If you guys don't know, Supreme and Shot have been collaborating almost every single year for a very long time. Maybe they've skipped a few seasons, but these pieces sell for sometimes up to double what they cost. So it'll be like 800, 900 bucks, but sometimes it can go for upwards of two grand. It really just depends on what people are thinking. But if you have the funds, recommend copying this to flip, to keep, to love for whatever. Okay, next up, we got the Wave Varsity Jacket. This one, I mean, Varsity Jackets continue to be super sick. We have a nice little hit of 2024 right there on the right sleeve. Looks like it's made out of leather and felt chenille applique, which is pretty dope. Yep, cowhide leather sleeves. So this will be a very expensive piece. I'm guessing 500 to maybe $600. If it's under 500, like if it's 498 even, which is basically $500, I would say that's a steal, you know, which is kind of wild to think that $500 is a steal, but it's a Supreme Varsity jacket, right? You get the quilted interior, got some nice contrast colors. I think my favorite one would be the blue and white. The red, white, and blue is doing it a little bit more for me than the green and black, but that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of this guy? Faux fur jacket is next. This one is crazy. Definitely out of my range of what I would wear out in public, but I know for certain some people will love this thing. It's got a very cool metal badge on the back of it that says Supreme, which is super neat. Literally a metal logo plate is what it's called. And it also comes out in the, the Arctic Fox colorway, I suppose. Whatever you want to call this color, it looks crazy, but these are pretty high end. It is faux fur, so it's not going to offend PETA. You would hope they know that it's a, a faux fur, so vegans are allowed to wear this but i think it's really cool don't know how this thing will do resale wise i'm not really that up on my fur knowledge to be honest guys reversible two-in-one ma1 vest this thing is super dope and if you can look carefully you can see the outline of the vest along my cursor right here that is something that is the front zipper that will zip off you can wear that separately and then you could also just rock the bomber but I think this is a really, really dope piece because you are literally getting two in one. I mean, look at this description. So much stuff, utility pockets, you got side pockets. Here is what it looks like without the vest, which I still think looks really cool. It's an MA1 bomber vest. I've talked about it many times that I've wanted to get an MA1 vest for so long. Maybe this is the time, but I don't know, man. The vest 
by itself would be really sick. I think I could justify wearing that for the springtime in Zona, maybe on like some kind of a hike or camping trip. I think for me, I've always loved this orange and navy combination, but the black and olive is doing it a little bit more personally right now. Is there a third colorway? There is just two, which I think they do that quite often with some other pieces, just the two combo. Sometimes the three is cool, but when they can confine it down to two, we got a really nice and distinct colorway and idea that they're going for. So I think overall, this is definitely up there on the list of best items so far. Reversible down puffer jacket. Unfortunately, this is a piece that is just releasing a little bit too late in the season for me, right? Living in Arizona, but maybe for you guys, or you want to stock up for the winter fall of next year. But here we go. It's got some interesting split colors right here with the purple and white, and then it's got brown and olive on the inside, which is wild, but it is again, reversible. So it goes both ways, right? Olive on the outside and brown. This will probably again be a little bit more on the expensive side given that you are kind of getting two jackets in one. So the outside is more of like a nylon layer. I'm guessing something you would wear if it was raining outside. And then if you flip it inside out, you got kind of the puffer jacket, which I guess you would wear if it was more windy or colder. I don't know if it's a reversible jacket, wouldn't it just provide the same level of warmth either way? Okay, one is water resistant on the reverse side. Okay, embroidered logo on chest. I'm trying to see if there's any information about the other side. I don't know, one side is waterproof apparently. This one is kind of wild, this cream, kind of pinkish, creamish, peachish. Creamish is a damn pal from Power World. You guys been playing Power World at all? That shit is dope. But overall, I think this reversible down puffer is pretty dope too. S logo trucker jacket for all my trucker fans out there. Yeehaw. This one is really cool. I think it's such a unique idea and a fun interpretation of that S logo design. We got this actually stitched into the jacket itself, that S logo, this being one side of the S, this being the other side. And then continuing along the back, we got the Supreme patch right there, kind of like a Levi's looking inspired design, which I think is super dope, super neat. And this is the uh, other colorway right here. Boom, I was kind of lost my train of thought right there. What the hell am I looking at? But overall, what do you guys think is the better colorway? I'm kind of leaning more towards the traditional blue denim. I think it just looks pretty good. But the one they have shown right here, this kind of darker reddish brownish hue kind of shows that S embroidery a little bit better. I will say the blue denim one and the black one, you can't see that S logo as much. So really curious to see how this piece will do. I think it's pretty sick and it does have a matching set of jeans, I believe. Right here, we have the five logo, S logo. My contacts are kind of dying right now. S logo, loose fit jeans. I think these are crazy. I might actually go for these because it's so interesting. And I've been wanting to cop Supreme jeans for so long. I'm thinking about it, guys. Are we gonna cop the S logo jeans? I'm gonna write these down right here. S logo jeans. And gonna compile my list for probably the end of the week of like my must cops. But here they are, S logo loose fit jeans. Arc Denim Coach's Jacket. You love to see a good coach's jacket. This one is cotton, 13 ounce denim. Really, really sick. Elastic cuffs. We got some great color combinations. The navy and red, the green and the yellow. We got the purple and white. This is the best one, guys. I mean, I'm team purple till the day I die, if you look at my box logo. So I'm always gonna be biased. And then the olive, oof, and the black, bro. So many good colorways right here. This Arc Denim Coaches jacket will definitely be a sought after item. So stay tuned for this week. I think this is an easy kind of resale piece right here. If you wanna get one that'll go, I'd probably grab like the olive and maybe the purple. I'm thinking those will be the most hyped ones. The black, it can go either way. I think the black is like kind of the safe bet 
but if you take a gamble on what's trendy like what color is doing well like brown last season maybe still brown this year i think that's when you can really make some good profits futara fishtail parka now if you guys weren't around in like 2013 through like 2016 fishtail parkas were absolutely everything and i believe they're making a comeback right now which is so sick i haven't had a fishtail parka in a very long time and i might actually cough this one but i don't know how i feel about the arctic camo and again just the climate is just the only thing maybe holding me back but really sick this is from the futara collaboration and it's got all this information down below with the printed graphic on back the artwork is by futara and it's made by alpha industries exclusively for supreme so unfortunately anytime i see alpha industries i go fuck this is going to be expensive so i'm guessing this will be like a four three hundred dollar jacket i would love to maybe get a fishtail parka from a different brand to be honest because while this is super sick and i want to cop it and i encourage you guys to cop it it might just be a little bit too much but let's try to read this supreme there's spirit there's another and root of the there's oh, fuck one supreme personally the origin of you and me real wisdom is knowledge new york tokyo london paris seoul milan and chicago i got about 75 percent of those words so if you guys know what this says down below comment it and i will send you a supreme box logo sticker if you can comment what this says just dm me on social if you get this right let me know what it says i will send you one red box logo sticker to show you know my support to you for supporting me all right boys if you haven't seen this yet here we freaking go gore-tex taped seam jacket waterproof breathable gore-tex yeah i got the poly gore-tex that's great it's gore-tex okay boom kermit come on now playing the freaking banjo look at this freaking guy he's hanging out in the forest he's playing a little banjo and i love it so freaking much kermit and supreme guys it's one of the most iconic designs just that photo t-shirt of Kermit wearing a box logo, the skateboards of him doing the little pose, so sick. And while I do also love these other taped seam jackets, yes, it's Gore-Tex, I love purple, yes. Just look at freaking Kermit, look at him, look how cute he is. He's just hanging out. He's hanging out, buying Supreme. I'm hanging out with my guys. It's Supreme Spring Summer 2024. I hope you buy my jacket because it's gonna sell out. That was my Kermit impression. And yes, I have been working on it just a little bit. You kind of got to play it way back in the throat. And that sounded a little sus. Let's continue on. Gore-Tex and Iraq. It's just Gore-Tex season out here, folks. Gore-Tex season. And do you guys feel what I'm feeling about Gore-Tex? Has it lost a little bit of hype? Like this Anorak, eh, it's decent. I'm not copping it. I would much rather have this curved track jacket, but are you guys feeling the same way? Is Gore-Tex still earning the same level of respect from people from uh, commanding those super high prices? Or has Arteryx and like other brands kind of taken over? You know, by the way, this is a really great jacket this curve one i love these colorways this lavender black and white we got orange navy and gray and then we got kind of a cream interesting little peachy gray teal and a off brown olive maybe and then the all black very cool colors i hope these guys come with matching shorts love that that is super sick we might consider grabbing just the shorts for I definitely will be grabbing the shorts for pickleball this summer and just for athletic activities. You guys know me, but really cool design right there. AOI, not AOL. It's AOI work jacket. We got the insulate insulation. We got so many damn embroideries. We got some Japanese Onis, some demons right down here. Okay, some other kind of God. We got the evil internet explorer browser just love that the evil eyes we've seen from a design before if you can see up top i think that might have been on an aoy thing from a couple years ago the 94 s with the cherry 1994 through 2094 100 years of supreme boys i could see it happening a little logo right there another supreme logo there we got whatever this is 
And then on the back, it's another one of those every single store, which is super dope. Love how Japan has literally four stores right there. And there's multiple in Tokyo, which is great. Um, Godspeed. Okay, gotta zoom in. Beware that when fighting monsters, you yourself do not become a monster. For when you gauge, for when you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. Damn, I love that quote. And it's seeing the Yakuza tatted up guy with the tiger holding the American flag with Supreme and the stars. I mean, this might be a must cop. It's just gonna be so expensive. I can't, I can't guys. I want it, I can't. And it doesn't suit my kind of need this year of wanting to have cleaner, more professional looking pieces, more collared shirts. So unfortunately gonna have to pass probably on that piece, but who knows? It definitely looks really cool. And speaking of really cool, we got real tree RT instead of RC. That makes sense guys. I have been recording a lot of videos today. So if I stop making sense, that what's what's uh, that's what's going on? Reversible quilted work jacket. I need a drink of water, but this is super sick. A few moments later. Lots of reversible stuff this season. We got real tree on the outside, and then just some black on the inside, which this is really neat to, because if you actually wore this hunting or something, you could you know flip it inside out when you're hunting, and then you're walking back into town. You don't want people to see you with your camos on because then they can't see you, right? So you want to make sure actually that they can see you. So then you flip it inside out. All of a sudden, hey, I can see you. And this one though is really dope. We have the two different camo patterns, which if you live in a place where there actually is snow and you are a hunter, this would be incredible useful to actually just have a two-in-one camo set because that's a really sick looking winter camo I hope they come out with pants to match but I'm guessing I'm feeling like they won't but maybe they will and maybe I'm totally wrong because they do have these really incredible double kind of matching sets with that reversible look right there. Hope they have pants to go with it. Cotton utility and a rack. This I actually could see myself copying. I love the actual plaid design right there. Zip stash pocket, draw cord, fixed hood. What other colorways do we have? We have bright, screaming, phoenix yellow, and we got black, and that's it. I think the purple one's the coolest, yeah. Purple one is definitely the coolest with that plaid flannel kind of look. And I believe we already looked at these coaches jackets, but they are just somehow attached to the party right there, which is uh, pretty funny. Same thing with the reversible. Okay, denim chore trucker jacket, all cotton 13 ounce denim. Yes, we love some 13 ounce denim. Now, what does 13 ounce denim mean, guys? If, I, if you have to be straight up with me, I don't know what it means. 13 ounces of denim compared to what? Is it per stitch? Is it uh, the whole piece weighs 13 ounces? I don't know. I feel like this would weigh more than 13 ounces, but maybe not. If you guys, again, know what denim measurements mean, then I guess let me know. But this is really dope. This is really sick. I love so many unique little designs right here. We have this one being just that color. We have the all over crazy Supreme print with the stripes. And then we have the simple black. So very toned down and then the crazy one. I wonder which will do better on the aftermarket. I could see the crazy all over one being that one because it is that classic, basically Supreme box logo without the box. Supreme logo, all over print, could go pretty hard on the resale. Nylon chore jacket is next. It's actually got recycled nylon. So shout out to Supreme for doing some recycling. We love to see that and respect it very much. But these are the colors. We got orange, we got tan, black, navy. It's an okay piece. It's not really, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing insane. For me, it's like a very classic kind of casual piece, um, understated kind of sleeper maybe, but not really 
top of the list, certainly towards the bottom what we looked at so far today. Okay, hooded stadium jacket. This one could be sick. Very much so. Holy shit, like Chiefs and 49ers colorways. By the way, how about that Super Bowl yesterday, boys? That was absolutely wild. And boom, man, if only the 49ers won, this would be a prime victory jacket right here. But all over print on the back. I'm surprisingly not loving this piece. I love the front, but the back, I feel like they just didn't create the right shape. Does that make sense? This either should be smaller and just covering the back, or it should have a steeper angle and the, the top of the P should be up here and the R should be centered. The E is right here and the M, it just doesn't look, it looks misshapen. Are you guys feeling me on that? I do like the colors. The colors look good. The front looks okay. No Supreme logo on the front here on the hood. This piece is mid. I'm sad. I said it. This piece is mid and I'm sorry if you like it. It's just not doing it for me. Yeah. They kind of missed the execution on this one. Unfortunately, satin hooded track jacket. This one is actually pretty dope. I like this logo right here. I'm trying to zoom in 30 years of dedication. World famous. There is that. 30th anniversary hit we've been waiting for that i'm sure there is so much more to come again guys i have only looked at the jackets you guys have probably seen more than me right now it is 907 mountain standard time and i have only seen jackets and the lookbook so i'm so pumped to keep cranking out these videos so stay tuned to that we're going to be cranking out videos it's going to be so much fun talking about all these pieces satin hooded track jacket it's pretty dope. The satin material is really sick. We've already seen this piece right here. The tri-coat track jacket, lots of tees. I'm not really a fan of it, to be honest. Now the inset link track jacket, this is the link and build special. The collaboration machine, very cool purple, like a royal purple with white. That looks great. Fucking high school rivals colorway though. So I don't know how much I can like it. And the red and white Indiana Hoosiers, of course. Shout out to the 812, baby. Come on now. And then we got the micro down jacket. Only one piece left after this, guys. And it's a real good one. Again, it is too warm in Zona for me to justify this one. But if you wanted a nice micro logo, maybe this one, I could maybe see this going on sale. But if you don't live near a Supreme store, do not count on there being an online sale, guys. I'm just telling you right now, do not write off pieces and say, I'm going to cop it on the sale if you don't live near a Supreme store, because after last season, there was no sale for people online. Last but not least, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Muppets fleece jacket. And it looks like they're at some kind of a theater. It's a polar fleece with printed graphic and full zip closure, zip hand pockets at lower front and zip chest pocket, elastic binding at collar, cuffs, and hem. You just love to see it. Look at this guy. Beautiful piece. I mean, beautiful piece. We have all the Muppets here. Miss Piggy, Kermit. You got all the other guys. You got, what is the red guy's name? He was always kind of a dickhead. The chicken. Where the freak is the cookie monster? What do you think of this Muppets fleece jacket? I could go either way on the Skittles looking color. The kind of rainbow, every color is definitely a loud piece. And this will be relatively hard to rock with an outfit. I think you would need like black pants and some understated shoes or some like Muppets adjacent stuff going on here. But we do have all the guys hanging out and that is the last jacket folks. So what do you guys think of the Supreme Jackets preview? So many crazy items, lots of cool pieces. Again, I'm going to be covering pretty much every single category of items from this Supreme drop. Be sure to hit like on the video, guys, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my gaming channel, Tomasu VT. Link will be in the description. I've been tooling around with some Call of Duty Warzone streams, hanging out. I would love to play with you, the viewers. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's continue on with the next item on the list the supreme shirts tops and sweaters it's a three-part combination and it's going to be crazy right here on the channel don't miss it